Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back. How good of you to join, take a cup of sit back, relax, perhaps with a grin on your face or something similar, and enjoy, well, brick making. That's the, the latest invention in Sleepy Hollow that we have. Of course, two women are doing the job while the husbands are sitting at home eating and getting fat. And those two here are making sure that we have a good production up and running. No bricks yet in the storage. Um, and of course, this is um, taking a bit of time to ramp up. The other thing is that we have over here the foundry now in all its glory up and running. It's producing me now iron ingots, right? And already started with that. Already produced some 10 iron ingots out of it. Very good. And with that, we have now the ability then to yep, upgrade my wells, for example, as they require iron ingots amongst other things. Um, the next business though that we want to have implemented right away is then also the blacksmith forge. We do have one more heavy tool, how very lucky. And this one we can use to use now iron ingots and coal to produce well, heavy tools, swords and tools. And let's go ahead and have this one right away also next to my blacksmith. Those two heavy factories are working together. Let's get the road over there so we can have then a bit more industry in this area too. So this is another big uh, construction coming up now. I'm going to consume me quite some materials once more. But it's going to be worth it, I assure you. Meanwhile, we are in early autumn, year 19. And yeah, the next harvest season is upon us with grain again. I think... No, we are actually out of grain, but we still have flour. That means, of course, we don't have enough grain production yet. But we have enough flour production for the breads. So bread can continue to work non-stop. Yeah, with the grain we will probably need to do something. So probably another field coming up soon just for grain. Another problem here, as we can see, is that there is the wheat rust right now. Crop loss is 18% um, and 20% chance to spread. The problem with that is we have a bit of a reduced yield and also we have not the highest fertility. So this um, causes the wheat not really be in full swing here. Um, we are going to have a lot of fertility increase though in the next years, right? And then once we have another cycle, I'm expecting this to be much higher. Do we have any other grain coming in anywhere? I don't think so. We have some flax. Next year is a, a bigger grain harvest coming in, but that's it for now. So I'm expecting, of course, the grain to ramp up now. The harvest is going on, but it's not going to be that much. And yeah, we're actually running out of grain. So let's reduce the amount of workers that we have. Um, in the windmill because you don't always need that now also very important we can upgrade lookout towers now we have the ironing gets in and this will um what do what increase the upkeep right it also fortifies the building and it allows it to well be a bit more sturdy and do more damage before we do that however i would like to have a look at my fletcher where is my fletcher it should be somewhere here it's been a long time and the fletcher building should be Wait a second, should be somewhere here, right? Producing me arrows. There it is, I think. Yep, that's the one. This is what I want to upgrade first. Because with that, we have the ability to uh, produce then crossbows. And they're going to be very powerful against armored enemies. So this is something we definitely should aim for. 40 bricks. It'll take some time. We do have around 4 laborers. Let's assign another one to the brickyard. As bricks is that important to us now. Um, the harvest is almost over. Eight months, we're probably sitting at 10 months of food, so that's once again fine. And of course, bricks we also need for upgrading the root cellars. I'm looking forward to that because with that we have the um, ability to, yeah, store more goods and also have it more durable. So the, the spoilage is getting reduced with that. 13 people would like to join. For the first time, I'm not entirely sure anymore if we should do this. Okay, we can build houses quickly, of course. Um, we have space. Problem though is still, we need to feed them. Now nah, let's accept. Let's accept. To 191, let's build more houses. Uh, the market is here, so the market is going to be upgraded soon, once we have also the bricks. So this area will be then usable by the market. Also this one up here, so we can continue building some more houses um, in that area. Of course, these houses are going to have some very high desirability, thanks to also being them very close to the mar uh, to the theater. Let's build some three of them. That's enough to house the additional people, and also to not overdo it with the log consumption. So another block comes out. 
With the upgrade, yeah, we'll be able to expand a bit further and then we might be thinking about a new market area as well and that a new district, right? So each market area is a district for me. We have one right now um, and we can improve on that, of course, over time. That's that. How's my barn looking? We have the cows and as we can see, they're fully fed. That's perfect. They're out here grazing right now. Does she have a crossbow? No, it's a pickaxe. It's a pickaxe only. They're going to graze now, and there, yep, there it is, produce me milk. They're also going to consume some grain on top of that. So, another reason why we should get that grain production up a bit further, um, to produce more of it. This one just had it, this one has it next year. Next year we have two grain harvests inbound. That's great. Two of them is great, and flax-wise, we're sitting on a very comfortable flax storage right now but of course it's important to have the grain to not uh, let my cows um die <laughs> and next year hopefully they will start to scoodly poop once they're happy to make more baby cows or calves that is and yeah with that milk production is up and we might consider then a cheese production out of that lots of potentials everywhere as you can see let's get rid of those two at the trading post and lots of upgrades available too but we have some priority list here to work on, so I'm not going to aimlessly just upgrade. We need to start with the most important ones first. And for them, we still need to have some more bricks in stock. This one's coming along now, so it has been cleared, I think. And now, just a lot of resources need to be pushed over here. Meanwhile, 30 iron ingots have been produced. And a housing shortage is a problem. But of course, why do they join in late autumn? I mean, come on. Spring would have been perfectly fine too. Now you need to sit in the cold a bit. Until we have finished this here. Uh, we have, let's tone it up there to 10 builders. We have lots of laborers. Let's make it 12 builders potentially. And they of course are all going to work on that right away. There it is. And yeah, well, two more we need. Those two here. Oh, you just realized probably I'm in particularly good mood today. It's upgrade season, really. Uh, there's so many beautiful, beautiful things we can do right now with all the new building materials. Um, I love upgrading. I love increasing the efficiency. Let's actually have another fourth person in here working so we have more bricks coming out. This, of course, will increase my coal consumption. My clay consumption is fine, but for the coal, since we're using two buildings now consuming coal, I need to also assign a few more that gather me the coal. Um, this pushes us to 16 still. We have so many people right now as laborers. That's beautiful. Let's go ahead and also push more for the iron and make the coal full, right? Really, we do need the coal. Also, the clay, I think, is not really fully utilized at the moment. Let's make another two here because we need the clay for the bricks. Foundry-wise, let's assign a third person to that. And 35 bricks we have. I think that is enough. Yes, it is enough. Let's upgrade. Let's start the upgrading spree with the root cellar. This one here. We can finally do this. And also consume some gold. That's always good. Consuming gold. Uh, we are already pretty low on gold. So it's time then to sell some stuff as well. Again. But for now, let's go ahead with that. Year 20 is upon us. One person is homeless. But as far as I know, they should be able to upgrade here. Are they not? I mean, they live in a perfectly desirable area. How dare they? Not happy with what they have. Alright, let's go ahead and have some more houses. I think this one here should get in the vicinity of it. Let's build some two houses here for now. Right, I think this is going to be fine. We'll just see. And here, I do need to flatten the terrain a bit. For houses to be able to squeeze in here. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this. For two houses... Now we need to flatten this one here too. Make this work somehow. Gold is coming in. And we're going to see that upgrade here soon. Another 10 bricks already. And I think we're going to have the market next on my prior. There's the trader. Upgrading the trading post is of course also a very important thing. Because that allows us to have 3 traders per year and also more goods. There's a new trader though. What do you have in stock? Nothing we would like to purchase, but he would purchase shoes for an increased price. So let's do this. We have really a lot of shoes. I'm very happy, very pleased with that. 
Let's also sell some soap. Baskets rather not. Uh, the rest is fine. Oh, by the way, I should have two people here. Speeding things up is more important. Plus, we are not really relying on the workforce right now anyway. The brick cellar has been upgraded. Look at that. Brick buildings are beautiful. And this one here is no exception. Finally, we are moving into more sophisticated terrain. Just wait for tier 3 shelters. I love them. And this one here is now, I think, storing... Is it storing twice as much? No, a thousand more, right? So 2,500 storage. And it is also reducing the spoilage significantly for food. Also, we have the ability to build barrels um, on top of that. These barrels then would add more spoilage reduction. So bar a, a barrage production is probably up my list. But I think this is... Is it tier 4? Not entirely sure yet. I think we need to upgrade something. I think we need to upgrade a house there. Ah, very good. Blacksmith up and running. One of the really important buildings that we have. And here we can now decide quite a lot of things. What we want to produce. Um, let's actually go ahead and keep it one-to-one -one for now. Because I want to produce all of that kind of like at the same time, right? Let's also increase the, the people working here. Um, and at some point we just have... I'm going to have like four heavy tools. And then we can totally turn it off. And just focus on the other two. And even with weapons, we don't need to endlessly produce weapons. But in the right now, we need all three of them. So let's just keep it all three of them. Um, one to one ratio. And then we, we can still decide. Uh, we are down on firewood too. So another thing I would like to do is upgrading my firewood splitter. This enables an additional um, production speed increase. For some 20 bricks. Right, That's the next important one actually. Right, or you know what? What we could also do, we could also pause this for now and just build another one. I mean, we do need more firewood anyway for, for such a big village here, right? So let's squeeze in another firewood splitter. We do need it. And rather build that and save on the bricks. Ah, yeah, bears, I know. Off it goes again. Uh, do we have still a trader? We still have this one. Oh, I haven't sold yet. <laughs> there you go. Let's sell it for 400. And let's sell the soap for 140. Getting some coin out of this one. And that's fine. Let's transfer the rest back to my town storage. And with that, we have 700 in stock. No other trader, unfortunately, joined us. But it's still early. There might still be another one coming in. Ah, very good. Fortifications up here have been finished as well. We have seven labors. I would not like to go with soldiers yet, but at least the area is finished. It, it, it probably will not get attacked for the moment, as long as I don't have any defense up there, as they tend to go for defenses first. They're slow. Hurry up. I need bricks. There's not four of them working. And the village is being raided by 40. I don't have crossbows yet. They're coming in from the fields. Oh, and they have a battering ram. All right. Is it too late to activate my, my barracks here? Let's get four people in. Because they will need to destroy that battering ram. That's problematic. Alright, they take heavy damage though. My hunters are brave souls. Oh, these are already my soldiers attacking. And I think they're already backing off. The battering ram at least is gone. Yeah, and the soldiers are dying. They should probably not attack with only one by one. This one is still fighting. Let's push it out again. Keep them a bit busy here in the area. That's a lot of raiders. More soldiers are coming in now. They were equipped quickly. I mean, not that they're fully equipped yet. They don't have any sword or bow. But they're, with all their bravery and their fists, they can do a difference too. There you go. Slaughtering the ones that are fleeing and yeah. Oh, no! They're already at my town hall. If that town hall gets destroyed, by the way, the game is over. Alright, the soldiers are helping out now. Mm, not very well. Yeah, they're dying. But we could kite them a bit. Another soldier down. 
and there they're backing off. As you can see, they're not taking a lot of damage. These are the heavy raiders, the heavy armored raiders. And we need to absolutely make sure that next year or the next time we have the crossbows. Because only the crossbows will do enough damage to those guys. That was a warning shot. I don't think we have lost anything significantly. I don't think we were looted either. But they breached. And that's the, the, the problem here. Let's rebuild. Get the barracks back here somehow. So those four... No, I haven't lost anyone, right? One was actually beaten down, but is actually on its way. Getting treated. <laughs> getting to the healer. I love these details. We have a healer and she's going to get treated. And will probably survive that onslaught. And 18 were killed, 4 damaged buildings, one was one villager died fighting. No, it's fighting still. Oh yeah, over here, you can stop. Also a bit dangerous, don't you think? Against those 4. And nothing was looted. That's fine, I'm happy with the outcome. Next year we're going to be even more prepared. Uh, selling wise, nothing really worth it. Weapons, we also don't need swords. We're producing ourselves now. Stone might be something I can consider, but not really. Also, there it is now. The Fletcher building can be upgraded. Let's do it. That's going to be great. And with that, we will be able to build crossbows. Oh, 24 iron was pillaged. Yeah, that's something. This one is out of range. Let's have... Out of trees. Uh, let's have those trees over here. Plenty of stuff you can still harvest. Upgrading the hunters will be nice too. For my food boost. We are down to two food. Holy cow. Things escalate a bit quickly here now. Can Do you have some food in stock? She does not. Mm, nah. I also don't want to do anything else here. Well, the cows have the milk, right? So we have milk in stock. We can make some cheese out of that. I should do it. Cheese is quite valuable. There it is. The cheese maker. Ah, 75 bricks. That's a lot. We cannot afford this at the moment. Uh, yeah. Then let's go ahead with a forager. We do need a few more of them. Let's actually build two more foragers um, over here along the fields. That's important to get a bit more herbs in. Look at that. We are out of food. That was very fast. Hmm, the fisheries are working fine. The hunters are working... Wait a second, the hunter? This one? Has steer inside, really. But not a lot. This forager has herbs, though. Yep, they have it. We need to do something. I need to build more fields. That's the only thing I can... I can actually say here. Um, I could start with field production here. Field building. Or we continue up here. There's more fertile area now. And only then it's for next year. But let's do this. We need to do something here. Let's salvage that. And we need to do it ASAP. Built. And let's go ahead. This is going to be a big one again. And it's going to have up to 66% fertility. Make it like that. And then I'm going to have another field here once more. With 62. And then of course we want to continue with the fences. But food wise I'm a bit shocked there. That escalated way too quickly. And then we built that fence here all around it again. Make sure no one can enter or no animals can enter. Humans, of course, can always enter. This field is being fertilized right now. Thanks to the compost yard. There's a thousand grain coming out this year. And I can assign a second miller here again because we do have enough grain in stock since last harvest still. So that is something we can use. And... Where's my people anyway? We have zero? 
Did so many die now? No one died really. We had 12 laborers available. They're all auto refilled. I think we have also the demographic problem that we have a lot of seniors. 23 right now. Yeah, and this is also hurting us a bit there. Losing the workforce. So I might also need to tone down on some of my production. Oh, by the way, the Fletcher building. There it is. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it is. And this one is producing now crossbows. There it is. With some planks and some iron ingots, you can produce them. And I'm going to say produce two in a ratio to one of the bow. We still need bows for the hunters. And of course, the arrows you can build or produce as well. They're still destroyed buildings. Now it's gone. Alright, harvest season it is. It is replenishing again a bit. Of course, we have a lot of farmers that's costing me too. Hmm. Where are my workers? Let's turn it down on the mining. The only thing I can think about now. We don't need that much iron production. The coal I keep intact and the clay I also don't need that many. Let's turn it down on the clay again. That gives me some back. But that wasn't enough. <laughs> Holy cow, really. A builder would be available though. Go ahead and give a builder the, the shot here. The shot of his lifetime. Where's the builders? There they are. No, it's a work camp. Where's the builders? We have six of them available right now. They should be somewhere here. But I don't find them interesting. We only have the work camp laborers here. Yeah, let's take one of them. Reducing my log consumption just a tiny bit. But we do need, of course, the flower production. My soldiers are ready, so we have four. This is quite a lot, so I'm going to tone it down here. Saving some workforce again. Two of them. They're just there really to destroy battering rams. We were kind of like on the time the last time. But there's going to be more of them coming, of course. Let's also have another one in the flat, so we need the bows, the crossbows. Right, firewood at least is going up again, thanks to having a second splitter. And... Reduce it now, I, I need that, unfortunately I need that here. I mean, we have 32, 37 children, where are they? Please grow up. Another problem is the housing. And we are also not really getting up on the bricks there. It takes a long time to get those bricks out. Three have grown up. So that's a few laborers coming in. We, by the way, have nine builders. Let's tone it down here too. To get some of that workforce back again. Lot of, lots of juggling around the workforce at the moment. Ah, I need, probably will need a second windmill soon. The grain is now piling up there. But the granary still has reserves. Alright, seven months. I will need to build another root cellar. There is no way around that. These two are almost full. And for such a village, that's then not enough anymore. Let's go ahead and build another one. Even before I upgrade one. We can have still one more here or one more here. And then I still have room for another tower. And actually uh, this whole row up here can be full of towers. So let's have another root cellar in this area. And also, since we're here in the area right now, let's go ahead and fortify here a second tier. Right, so a second wooden palisade around it for now. Also all the way here. To reinforce that. And we can do the same thing to the gates. We can um, fortify the gate have at least another row right so that because they usually like to go for the gates if it's not a battering ram exactly and we can fortify that further by another row so they will have a harder time getting through that gate uh, this will deplete my locks but okay there you go making this even more sturdy 
All right, 50 we have. It's time to upgrade that market. Very important. This has a lot of, be of benefits, right? This is going to give me more income. It is increasing the work area. It is increasing desirability. It incre reduces the rate of food spoilage that is in here. And it gives me another worker. So this is really powerful. It's going to also take a while, but that's fine. And six builders we have, three laborers available. So this is actually looking good again. And two people are also working in the Fletcher building now. No crossbows yet. Let's, I mean, do we have bows? We have bows. Let's let's stop the bows and just work on, on crossbows. We need them in some higher quantities. All right, I think also my granary is full. There's grain lying on the floor. We need another granary too. Mm, somewhere here, probably. And we probably, most likely, will need another mill here soon. We have also not that much flour, so the bakery is still really fine with that. Alright. Getting somewhere. It's getting a bit harsh right now, so not easier, really. But for now, we are surviving and growing. Stay tuned!